guy's got sets of England at the under 18 level. It's, it's a dream that you, you dream of, but you never actually think it's going to come true. When I first played for England, um, the senior team, um, I played in front of 45,000. It was a fantastic experience to go on and play, and I was playing with some great players. And to be honest, it's, it's such an honour, and it, you know, you, you kind of feel up. Like it's really good when we win. It's always music blaring, girls having a laugh and a joke, and there's normally some pranks going on. You know, it's often been toes cut out of socks and things. I think there was a wet fish put in someone's bag. We, we have great teams for it, so we have a good laugh. When we reached the European Championship final, I remember standing in the tunnel and, and we were walking out past the trophy. We walked out past it, and I remember thinking, I'm never going to forget this moment for the rest of my life. And you know, just walking out with, with immense pride and, and, and wanting to do well. And you know, I had my family were all in the stands, and it was live on TV. And, you know, I just, uh, I could, I, I could play that moment over and over and over. Uh, we trained once a day, but twice a day, every day. It's quite demanding doing strength and conditioning, I'm doing football based fitness, uh, we do weights, we do a lot of endurance exercises, we keep ourselves in shape and obviously it's really really important that we fuel our bodies the right way because obviously you, know, you can't do the training we do unless you put the right things in the body. I drink milk quite a lot during the week, um, I have porridge every morning of which I make with milk. Um, I have to have protein shakes after every, pretty much every training session at the moment because it's pre-season and I always make that with milk because it gives you extra protein. It's so important growing up as well because of the calcium and the benefits for your bones and, and, and things like that. But, you know, I'll always encourage people to, to have it in their diet and I have quite a lot of it probably, you know, for me. I like it when it's just come out of the fridge and it's freezing cold. I think the future for women's football is bright. It's, it was, used to be classed as a man's sport and it's not, it's a sport and anyone can play it. And you know, I go out every weekend and see young girls playing and it's fantastic to see. For me, the most important thing in any sport is to enjoy it. If you are interested in playing football, my advice would be contact your local FA, get in touch with them. They know all the list of all the local teams. Don't be afraid to go and play, even if it's in a boys team, you know, don't be afraid to go and play. I think the main thing is you enjoy it. Practice makes permanent, as I was once told, so practice, 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 and you know, it's a great game. Just contact a local and get, get your boots on and get playing.